Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review. Heck yeah, why not? Here we got Legacy Predacon Inferno. Really been looking forward to this. Look at that box art. It looks freaking awesome. Love it in the ant mode. It says Inferno Legacy up there. You got the clear window like always. Love, love the uh, uh, artwork right there for my queen right there. It looks good. She he is a Vorger scale, Vorger class. On the back, 26 steps to transform this fella. Got the QR code right there. Looks good. Always see that. And we got that same thing. All right. So let's see what he comes with. All right. As always, they come with instructions. Awesome. It's awesome. He comes with his blaster. It is translucent red plastic. Then you got this nice uh, gunmetal gray paint all over it, which looks really good. And also sculpt. You do got some ports right there. It will you can hold in some uh, blast effects. It will take that, so that's nice. Yeah, nice little sculpt right there, and a nice little gun. I like it. Love the translucent red. So there you go. That is what Inferno comes with. All right, here is Inferno, the man of the hour, and I think he looks freaking awesome. This is his ant mode. I think it's a fire ant. I want to say that. But looks so freaking awesome. I love it. I love the big old blue eyes. The bug eyes right there look really nice. Translucent. Nice sculpt, uh, you know, texture to him. Got that nice rough texture to it. Love it. You got the little antennas. They do move up and down as well. His head does move up and down too. No side to side or anything like that. But it's fine. And then he got the little, his uh, claws or whatever. They do open up. So that's pretty cool like that you got his legs and they do move around like that this ones move up and down like that nice texture just a uh, brown plastic these move right here move side to side or uh, back and forth like that nothing else and these move up quite a bit you can move these up and down and you do got a uh, swivel for this it's on a mushroom peg right there so you got a nice uh, movement for that but yeah nicely textured I like that what i really like is the paint you got this nice metallic blue uh, purple light blue kind of thing going on but i like how it fades into that you also got some dark red right here and lighter red and it kind of fades in i love that looks freaking awesome that is beautiful you do got you can see some of the robot pieces with you know with the beast wars uh, you always see some robot pieces in alt mode and you got the nice turquoise the uh, gunmetal or uh, the metallic blue right there looks good yeah, I love that texture. It feels pretty cool. And there you go. And underneath, like I said, you see all the robot pieces. That's just uh, what uh, Beast Wars does. But very nicely done. Now, you can take his blaster. He does have a port right there. And you just put that right there. And, yeah, you can blast away. So that's pretty neat. But, yeah, I like it. I love the alt mode. It looks really good. So there you go. There is Inferno. Real quick, I forgot to mention during the uh, articulation for him, you do have this right here. You can move it up and down, kind of like an app crunch, I guess, for him. So I forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. But there you go. And there's Siege Red Alert, Magic Square Prowl, and Wheelie for some scale.
all right back for transformation here is legacy inferno in all his gloriness and yeah it's really awesome all right love the freaking head sculpt my gosh they did a really great job love that metallic blue you got some silver up here too as well he is, does have light popping is right red right there can't tell if you can tell it really that well but it is light piping right there, but it is very nice. The mouth has some nice silver teeth and it can open. Ha 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 ha. Very nice. So you can go um, as far as articulation for it. Down like that a little bit. So very nice. Up a little bit as well. Side to side. And a little attitude. Not much, but a little. But I still love that you can open his mouth and that is awesome. Looks good. And that metallic blue looks beautiful. All right, moving down to the chest and everything. You got the, you know, the ant head. Got the nice translucent blue. Once again, the nice texture. Feels rough. I like that. You can move his little antennas. That's pretty cool. All right, so far as his arms, you got this nice little spike. You do got some nice kind of a purplish gray kind of paint right there. Looks really good. And you do have a Predacon symbol over here in purple. That is very nice. Kind of faded in a little bit. But you can go up to there. Now these uh, arms do get in the way. The legs, the ant legs do get in the way quite a bit. Um, you can go all the way around. You do have a double elbow just because of transformation. But it is there. That is cool. Bicep swivel. And you do have a nice little uh, um, butterfly too as well. Wow, that's awesome. You don't get that very often. You do got a swivel of the hand. And then this one can move as, as well as uh, ant leg and move that as well but you got kind of these uh little claws for his hands that's pretty cool all right same on both sides all right so you got move this around a little bit you do have a waist swivel like i said these are going to get in the way you can move these up a little bit but you can get a waist swivel in there as well not the all i guess you can go all the way well yeah if you manipulate it you can go all the way around but like i said these uh ant legs do get in the way quite a bit beautiful paint right here once again you got the nice Metallic blue, and then you got some purple right here too as well. All right, so move these out of the way. You can Van Dam all day, every day. You do got to kick up, which is good, very nice. You can kick back too as well. You can move these out of the way. You do get a kick back. Thigh swivel. You get a little less than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Not terrible, but it's not, you know, the full 90. You do get that metallic blue right here and a kind of a darker blue right here. Metallic looks good. And I think the black is painted too as well. Yep, the black is painted over the red plastic. So that's nice. All right, so you got that. Then for the foot, you got a toe tilt down. Uh, you do got the little back piece right here can also go down. You got a nice rocker, no toe tilt up. And you got black paint for the toes as well. Then you got the back. So you can have, there's two ways you can have this. This is going to get in the way a little bit. Now it does spin a little bit, you know, for the, uh, for the effect, you know, when he's flying in the air and he's, uh, it can spin. So that is cool. Metallic blue paint for all that. Nice sculpt work in there as well. That is beautiful. Now you can have it like this if you want to, or you can just, uh, move this down like that, move like that, and you can have it down like that if you want to as well. And it can get out of the way and everything. So however you, you know, prefer it. But once again, I love that nice texture. Love the paint right there too as well. Really great job on the paint for this one. There you go. Um, here's his weapon. You have two options. You can do this. Put it in his hand. And he can hold it just fine. And you can open all this back up again if you want to. And you can open that up. Swivel this down, and then, oh, come on now. All right. So, there's a little groove right there. Or they, you know, you got the groove on the on the uh, weapon. It will fit. Well, come on now. Right in there, and you can have a butt gun if you want to, and it will swivel, you know, just with it and everything. So. You have that option too as well. Wee. So that's pretty cool. All right. There you go. There's Inferno for you. Awesome. It's awesome. Quick, there's Optimus Prime. You got Tits McGee, Retgar back there. You got Ironhide, Sice White, and uh, Core Class Optimus Prime for some scale. 
And crapper gone, it's crappy toilet paper, AAA battery, Carmex, kicker, squeaks, and Care Bears for more scale. All right, everybody, everybody kneel before the queen. What are you talking? What are you talking about? No, you're the queen. Yes. No. 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 Get out of here with that mess. Come on, Inferno. No, for the royalty. Yes, you are my queen. I mean, come on now. Get out of here. <laughs> they called you the queen. <laughs> uh -huh. What are you laughing at, poop scooper? Come on now. I'll have you clean the latrines. Oh man. What's up, Bravo? <laughs> What's up, Inferno? You funny mofo, you. All right, kick the baby. I'll go ahead. All right, cool. All right, uh, think a couple things I didn't mention. Um, whenever you do put the blast effects in the weapon, his elbow is very weak. You kind of gotta maybe bend it a little bit. So just be aware of that it really can't hold up uh, with the uh, blast effects. If you get it at a certain angle, it will start to droop. And um, this little area right here. Uh, kind of eyesore, you know, you can see right down there, but it's not terrible, but, you know, I kind of wish they would have covered that up a little better. But other than that, he's a great freaking fun, just a fun Transformer. Don't you love getting a fun Transformer? Hit me up in the comments. All right, floor time. Gotta love it. All right, final thoughts on Legacy uh, Predacon Inferno. Man, another great one. I love it. Uh, the ant mode looks really good. I like it, you know, it has, you know, you do see some robot pieces. That's what you're going to see with the... You know beast wars but man overall i love the paint the texture i love how it blends in the red the darker red and also that purple on his back right there looks really nice i like that transformation's easy and fun uh you know the only thing that I really can say negative about this thing is just the ant legs and that's just it's not you know the toys fall it's just a design and you know where you're going to put them you know it's just the same with you know uh black arachnia and uh you know the other ones too as well so you know it, it's fine uh like i said transformation is fun i uh, love the weapon he comes with nice translucent red with some nice paint the paint on this is spectacular the texture you know looks really good i love the head sculpt and you can open up the mouth that is awesome. Um, articulation, you know, you just have to, you know, manipulate the legs out of the way. Uh, you can get in some really great poses. Uh, so really nice. Uh, you do have options with the tail. That's pretty cool. Love, love that paint in here and the uh, sculpt work in there. It looks really good. Uh, the materials feel good. You know, most of it's on, you know, ball pegs or anything like that. So yeah, overall, a great, great fun transformer. Um, if you have the other, you know, uh, Predacons, you definitely have to get this guy. I mean, even if you don't, you know, like the, you know, Brief Wars, you have to get it anyways, because it's awesome. He is freaking awesome. I love it. So, yeah, I definitely highly recommend this guy. So, yeah, I uh, hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button, sub button for sub button for me. It really helps out the channel. And go watch my reviews. That really helps out as well. And, uh, yeah, hit me up some comments. Love reading your comments. I guess uh, I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Inferno, man. And hell freaking Transformers. This is a great one. Oh, he does have some waffles. You know, but I'm sure... I don't know if there you can even... Uh, the way they uh, made that, I don't know if you can even put in some fillers. I guess they can small, put some small ones in, but it's not bad. I think it goes well with uh, with uh, with his, uh, you know you know what he looks like and everything all right love y'all that step cousins roll freaking tie roll freaking tie for the queen yeah